Position the patient according to the procedure. Place a sterile drape sheet with a hole in the center of the patient's back after asepsis. Palpate for the iliac crest, which is an imaginary line drawn by joining both the highest points of the iliac crest. It is usually to the body of the fourth lumbar vertebrae. Identify the spinous process of L3, L4, and L5 and the inner spaces using palpation. Disinfect the puncture site using povidone iodine or alcohol-based chlorohexidine and apply it in a centrifugal manner. Anesthetize the patient by injecting 1% xylocaine and spread gently. After one minute of administration of the local anesthesia, the spinal needle is inserted safely into the subarachnoid space at the L3, L4, or L5 inner space. The needle is advanced, slowly directing it in an upward direction towards the umbilicus. The needle is positioned towards flank to avoid cutting the dura fibers, which run parallel to spinal access. The needle is moved either in a stepwise manner with the removal of the stylet or by two consecutive giveaway, one after ligamentum flavum and other after the puncture of dura and arachnoid membrane. After the removal of the stylet from the spinal needle, a few drops of cerebral spinal fluid or CSF are observed. After that, discard the first three drops. Then collect the CSF in the appropriate vials. The usual collected amount for an analysis is 8 to 15 ml of CSF. In some cases, such as cytological or culture study, higher volume is required. Gently press the insertion area and place a sterile covering. Lumbar puncture is an essential skill for emergency medicine and neurology services. Henceforth, practitioners consider lumbar puncture as an ancillary procedure performed for a variety of reasons.